So I do kind of want to... <laughs> I say apologise. Um, yeah, apologise isn't really the right word. Essentially, this isn't really a start-up, um, like a restart of the channel, of course. But I do want to do something that I've been meaning to do a little bit. Just for a little bit. So, essentially... You probably won't know this, but I am awful at trying to market my stuff. As in, I I don't. I just don't market my stuff. Which is something I'm going to change, hence why this video is going to be a little different. I'll say a little different. It won't be too much different. I still want it to act like a normal episode, and I'm not going to change anything too much. But I'm going to be fighting a bit more and talking a bit more. And not specifically about the uh, gameplay, because it's mostly just me fighting now. So essentially, hi. You can call me um, Sovereign, uh, although I now link that name to Mass Effect after playing number one. Plus, it's a bit long. Um, so Josh is fine, if needed. If you want. And. I hope you're all having a good day so far. What I'm essentially trying to do with this channel is create a fun place to play games, talk about games, promote games, promote anime because I love anime. I will talk about it quite often. I haven't talked about it in a while, which is something I plan to change because I do very much enjoy it. And things of that nature. Gaming, anime, stuff like that. Plus, more than anything, well I say more than anything, of course the gaming part is important, but I'd say somewhat on par with that is I just like to create a place where people can talk about what they enjoy and what they like without like repercussions of anything bad happening or being bullied, crap like that. Because where the hell is my Ice Queen? Where's the Ice Queen? Oh no. Oh yeah, I came out here alone. Um, yeah, because more than anything else, I think with so many places to connect to online nowadays, like there's so many places you can go, so many platforms you can be on, it just, it does get overwhelming. So I think it's... So shall the waters cleanse thee of thy burden. I think it's relaxing and, and just to nice to have somewhere you can sit back, relax, listen... And just discuss. Granted, YouTube is not and the best place for that. Free. Somewhere like Reddit or Facebook will probably be better, but I can't make videos on said Play platforms. The a pyre was well, I probably could. Actually, it's I definitely could. They deserve. We should go back. Cole is worried about Martha. All right. <laughs> yeah, I definitely could make a place on Facebook or read it but it's not merely creating a community around just anything it's more so building it around videos of gaming and anime and that's much easier to do when you're actually you know gaming and doing stuff like that and enjoying games just in general so building it up is something I want to do so that people have something to come to relax discuss what games they like anything like that I do plan to do anime videos in the future. By anime videos, I mean discussions. I don't think I'd do well with reactions. I do mean discussions, but that would require a, require a whole different format for YouTube. Something I currently cannot do with my skill set or my equipment. Or lack thereof, specifically. Yeah, so I can't currently make videos like that, even though I want to. So the best place I have for stuff like that is going to be TikTok, that's where I'm going to be uploading anime stuff. I need to do a Jujutsu Kaisen video, I was going to do it like before I saw this. However, I can't currently do it in the house and I have nowhere else to do it. So I'm going to hold off and just um, instead make YouTube videos, which is something I need to do more. I need to focus on doing work more. Um, YouTube videos, I need to do my writing a lot more. I just need to do more work. I procrastinate 
so much and it's annoying because it makes me upset at myself because I know I can do better, I know I want to do better and I know I have the capability to do better. Riders and gamers should probably know about procrastination. It is the bane of all of us, I swear. But it is something I want to improve on. I want to get better at, you know. Oh, dear lord. I want to get better at. Don't you dare. Oh, crap. Come on. Come on. Yes, break it, 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 break it. Jump, jump, jump. Okay. Woo. Come on. Oh crap, that was a rather poor showing on my part. Yeah, so like I said, wanna build a community somewhere for people to relax, to discuss the games they like, the anime they like. Anything of that nature, really. And I need to get better with my videos. I don't believe my videos are engaging enough. I need to make them more engaging, I need to make them more fun. I need to make them more entertaining just in general for people to watch. Because I want to make something that people will enjoy. Currently I have no feedback on such things. Which is kind of why I'm doing this kind of like an introduction video to the channel. Because that's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try to promote more, market more. going to try to push them more. Because that will help build it. It will help build something that multiple people can be proud of. Because they help build it. As I am. Granted, I have not seen a lot of growth. But the growth I have seen, I am happy with. I'm proud of. Because it's hard for me to stay motivated on something. I will... God, I am so flippant. I will go in and out of so many phases of liking something and wanting something. And falling out of favour with something. And it's... I'd say it's depressing. It's not... Depressing isn't really the word I'd use. It's a bit too harsh. But sad seems a bit mediocre. It doesn't quite hit it. It doesn't quite convey what I feel about it. It's disappointment more than anything else. The fact that I can't lock onto something as much as I'd like to. There are some staples that have stayed, of course. Um, writing is one of them. I am currently writing a story. Actually, currently I'm technically writing two at this point. But for those of you who've been on this for a while, you'll know that I've been writing a fantasy book for a long time already. Um, but I've essentially put a hold on that because I recently found out that starting out with a full-blown series is a bad idea because, you know, unknown writers, untested writers don't have the backing of a large fan group or audience that, you know, publishers will know will buy their books. So there's the possibility, the likelihood, that said book will get stopped before the series is finished. So I've decided instead of continuing on with the series I'm currently doing, I'm going to write a just one book romance first, because I do very much enjoy romance, as people who've seen other videos should probably know. I do love romance in anime, in gaming, just in general, it's just very sweet. And I enjoy it in a lot of the media I consume. So it's going to be a romance book. This one will not take nearly as long as my fancy one, which I've been writing for, I think, three plus years, maybe four. Granted, I don't count, at least. If it's four, I don't count over the years. If it's three, I don't count at least a year and a half. Most because I wasn't really focused on writing it. I had the idea for it. I got to about page 70, then I stopped for months, maybe a full-on year, and I just did not continue it. But once I was doing college, and I think it was once I finished college, I started writing it a lot more, and I focused on it a lot more lately. 
but I need to focus on it more because I need to get it published and stuff out there. But like I said, switch over to the romance angle. I'm going to write a book for that first. It's not going to take nearly as long. It's going to be a shorter book, of course. Plus, I'm going to be focused a lot more on it. So I'm going to be doing a lot more with it. The goal currently is a thousand words a day, but I want to do more than that. Apologies for the cut. I had to do something. But yeah, like I said, I want to get the romance one out there because I... God, I love books. I love them so much. I don't read enough. I used to read a lot during school. I read a lot of murder Boy, mysteries. Short. Hey. What? Yeah, I read a lot of murder mysteries. I moved away from that genre. I moved specifically onto fantasy. Specifically after, like, college. Because I stopped reading, like, after secondary school and uh, after the end of college. I just didn't read nearly You're as much. Survived, then. I'm sorry. Before he passed, one of them bade me tell you not to blame yourself. Does it mean I won't? Does it mean their blood's not on my hands? Cole said you cast their remains. That was good of you. But it should have been me. This was all my fault. How? Oh. You couldn't have known. But I did. And I turned a deaf ear to the warnings like the fool I am. The rumors started moons ago. Of black-clad devils descending on villagers in the dead of night to slit the throats of sleeping bearers. But I assumed it was all just nonsense concocted by the Empire. Nothing but a ghost story meant to make folk think twice about lending a hand to a fugitive bearer. And in ordinary times you would have been right. What these black shields are doing is unthinkable. Which begs the question, why do it at all? My mother obviously has a hand in this. I cannot make sense of her actions. And picking what goes on in that woman's head is a job for someone with more time on their hands. Right now, I need swords and men to wield them, preferably big ones. If those Imperials think they can come in here again and threaten my people, they're in for a rude awakening. Oh, before I forget, a Stolas from Otto landed just before you arrived. He asked me to tell you that Gav has returned. Then we must as well. Will you be all right here, Martha? We can stay longer if you wish. No need. I'll be ready should the Imperials come calling. Though I wouldn't turn my nose up if you were to lend me a pair of them strapping young curse breakers. You're welcome to keep him for as long as you like, Martha. Wonderful. Black blood. Oh, it reminds me of Krona. Oh, Krona. Still confused about your gender. Pretty sure you're they them. Which is something I need to touch on, actually. Um, stop staying where we are for now, I reckon. Like I said before, I want to promote a space that is constructive, that people can talk about and discuss. I'm going to avoid the mission for now once I can just discuss this topic, actually. Yes, yeah, so I want to make a place where people can discuss, talk, um, essentially just, um, no, I don't want to say discuss again. What is the best word for it? Converse with one another about things they enjoy. And on the topic of people not having to worry about bullying, it should be known that I do support um, um, LGBTQ plus people. I personally am rather simple, I'm just a straight dude, but I do support those who feel differently, those who like their own gender, or those who swap genders. Honestly, I just support those who want to live as themselves, unless, you, unless such living means you don't support others who want to live that way. I just... <laughs> I can't get behind the mindset of getting mad at someone for liking their own gender. It's just, people just want to live their lives and be happy with who they're comfortable with. And I don't 
quite understand the sentiment of getting mad at someone for liking someone else. Like, yes, you're a dude and you like women and you would not like a guy, but that does not mean all guys should like women. So, some guys like guys. Some guys like um, gender neutral people who don't identify as either. Like, that's their preference. I just, I can't get behind the mindset of hating someone or disliking someone because they want to feel comfortable and want to be with someone who makes them feel comfortable. I just don't get it. So yes, nothing of the sort, no transphobia, no homophobia, nothing of that sort will be tolerated. Like, at all. I just, I can't promote it, I won't promote it, hate it. Moving on from such topics, even though it is... God, it is important, and it should be discussed. That said, whilst I do think it should be discussed, I do not believe it should be the topic of every story and every conversation. Um, what I mean by that is... Currently, on my mind, the thing I plan to do for TikTok is promote a video concerning the women of JJK and how they are vastly underutilized and horribly written. Granted, they're written as interesting characters, but the way they are used in the story is horribly written. They could do so much more, but I'll stop it there. Yeah, like I said, don't support any like bullying or anything like that of any kind of nature. But trying to push back towards a more positive topic. I also want to help others grow. So if you're also just starting out after doing this for oh god two years even though I don't I don't I wouldn't count it as two years I'd count it as maybe a year and a half or maybe just a full year because whilst I have my first video was two years ago that year, video two years ago and my upload schedule two years ago was abysmal. It was so bad, even worse than it is currently. And currently it is bad, I want to improve it. Currently it is so bad. With that sword of yours, of course you are. Bet you're a bloody marvel with the thing. Now, question is, are you willing to use it or not? Because a flock of noble chocobos are in need of help. Chocobos. Go on. You heard me right. Wild birds? Hmm? The big ones? And not just any chocobos at that. Whiteheart and her flock are the bravest birds you ever did see. They protect travelers round these parts from bandits and the like. Chocobos. Fighting bandits. It's true. Why? They saved me from a gang of footpads only yesterday. Nasty lot they were too. And now, they're back. Looking to settle the score. Oh, go on then. D don't just stand there. Go and help them. For those unaware, I hate chocobos. <sighs> yeah, I'm just going to throw that out there. I hate them. They're just big birds. The way over yonder. You save Whiteheart and her flock, you hear me? And don't worry. I'm sure I will. Good luck. Alright, come on now. Yeah, for those who don't know, I hate chocobos. Horses are better. Yes, these have claws, but they're just big birds. Whereas horses are just muscle with legs. Okay? It's insane. Not to mention their bite strength. Jesus. That's quite a name for a chocobo. Ooh. Wait a minute. Is it going to be our chocobo? I think it's our chocobo. Yes. So I want to help others improve because, like I said, doing this two years, although I wouldn't consider it two years, my upload schedule at the start of 2023 was a lot better. I was uploading a video a day for seven months. God, was it tiring, but I kind of, I kind of miss it to a degree. A white feather. I thought Ambrosia was one of a kind. Speaking of brave birds. Looks like they went that way.
Yeah, so I was doing it non-stop for seven months. It was good, but it was tiring as all hell. I will say, though I do not like my current upload schedule, I do think it has given me new appreciation for doing this. Because my commentary still lackluster, it still needs to be improved. I need to find a better avenue to go down with my commentary, because currently it is a bit all over the place and I'd like to focus it in a lot more to be more engaging and interactive and more entertaining. Stuff like that. Something people would like to listen to, essentially, is my current goal. But whilst it isn't as good as it can be, whilst it isn't as good as I want it to be, you know, for other people, I want them to enjoy watching it. I will say, not doing it for so long has made me realise how much I do enjoy just talking about the things I love, the things I enjoy, the things I am passionate about, stuff like that. And it's given me a new appreciation for it ever since I stopped doing it daily. I would eventually like to get back to daily, although only once I'm able to turn this into a more profitable endeavour. And that's kind of the hard thing about this, because, like I said, I do want to turn it into a community, and I do want that to be the main goal of it. But with it currently not making any kind of living, I have to split my time to work as well. Which is what everyone has to do. I'm not harping on it. These chocobos aren't going down without a And fight. this is undoubtedly easier than the 9 to 5, or than my 9 to 5. The way easier than my 9 to 5. It's way more entertaining than my 9 to 5. Not to mention. What? Well, not to mention is not the right word. We got you cornered, mm -hmm. feathers. That's the best word for it. You didn't think you'd seen the last of us, did you? You've been bad for business. But I reckon someone will pay good coin to mount your head on their wall. Not around here, they won't. Oh. And why is that, eh? Because she's something of a hero in these parts. You hurt her, and I hurt you. It's off. Or better still, how about we hurt you both? All right then. But don't say I didn't warn you. Chill, why were you not in, in that cutscene? Come on. There we go. Good. Damn. You guys are not doing well. I need to get better at my combat, honestly. What was I going on about? Yes. Um. Yeah, so I currently have to work, which does dilute the amount of time I can spend on this, which is unfortunate. Oh god! What did I press? There we go. Then we'll just... There we go. Phoenix Rebirth. Hit him with the good stuff, Clive. Come on, go to Moloch, go to Moloch. There we go, wonderful. Almost 20,000. Wonderful. Yes, I do have to split my time between this and working, which is unfortunate but necessary. Until I can find a way to change that, whether that be through this or through actually publishing a book and getting revenue that way, my time will be more split than I'd like. But I don't want that to harpen on the experience. 
I do want to focus solely, well not solely, but mainly, on simply cultivating a group which understands one another and can support one another. You're safe now. White heart, I presume. Do you know her, boy? That scar. It couldn't be. But it is. Ambrosia. It is you. You survived. A flock. Boy, he, he is it over. I thought I'd come and see how you were getting on. Oh, well, you sorted the bastards then. I knew you would. <laughs> and the whole flock made it through unscathed. Thankfully, they did. And not only that. Never stop to think our hero here might once have been someone's mount. <laughs> Though I dare say she'd suit a fine fellow like yourself. Reckon our feathered friend must have learned a thing or two from her master. Kind-hearted warrior that you are. <laughs> God, it, like it's her, so soft, that's hawkers. You born a lord or something? Well, I... Uh, um... Go on, Clive. Say it. Oh, no, sorry, sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to pry. No matter who you are, you done right by me. What is it, girl? She wants her master back, I reckon. <laughs> Told you. And it seems her pals agree. Is that it? You want to come with me? Well, bugger me if this ain't a heartwarming sight. The lads down the stables will be hearing about this tonight. Oh, stay right where you are. Okay. I do want to say I don't know if I've done the best job introducing myself. I've mostly just tried to promote what I want this to be. But if you do have any questions, feel free to ask, like at any time, essentially. I am more than happy to answer anything, if you need to know, if you want to know. Wonderful. Doesn't she cut an handsome figure, eh? She does indeed. How much do I owe you? Ah, a few scraps of leather's the very least I owe, old white heart. Oh, I'll be sad to see her go, of course. But she's earned her right to happiness and more besides. Don't you worry, we'll get along just fine without her. <laughs> you hear that, White Heart? You've earned yourself some time off. You have fun traveling with your master now. God, the squeak is so mm. soft, it's soft, but it's sitting on a large ears. Now I get a proper look at you. That's it. When those chocobos swarm my cart on the road, didn't you? Uh, Can't be right. That fellow was a bearer. Must have been my double. Oh, must have been, eh? <laughs> oh, that'll be the excitement getting to me. Silly sod that I am. Pay me no mind. <laughs> Anyhow, best be on my way. Good luck to the both of you. You take care of your flock for now. I'll call you when I need you. 
So can I just summon Ambrosia now as a mount? That'd be awesome. Nice. Leveled up. Thank you. Chocobo unlocked. Oh, awesome. Okay, so I do get a Chocobo. This is not making me go back on what I said. After 18 long years, Clive has finally been reunited with his faithful seed hold R3 while in the field to summon Ambrosia X2 Mount. Good girl. Wow, when you ride alone, ride Ambrosia for the first time. Nice. Rain in. I presume that means to slow down. Ah, oh, thank god. This should somewhat get rid of one of my criticisms that you cannot free run in the game. Because you cannot, and it's awful. Why can you not just command run? You have to wait until Clive just speeds himself up. Anyway, um... What was I on about? I was on about something. Yeah, I don't feel like I've done much introducing to myself. I've tried to do some. I hope I've got across. Um, and as I said, if you need to know anything, feel free to ask. I'm happy to answer any questions. Besides from that, I do quickly want to move away from introductions to say that I wear that I'm aware that I've been going slowly with my uploads. It's something I need to change and I need to improve on. And I will be improving on it. Because I am very far behind in where I wanted to I be. Walk from here. For those who don't know, since this is a reintroduction essentially, I plan to play Lies of P as well as Spider Man 2. I understand both of them have been out for ages. Um, I also plan to play Armored Core 6 at some point, just because I love From Software. If you've seen my channel, if you take a look at the playlists, I've played Dark Souls 1, 2, 3, Bloodborne, and Elden Ring on the channel. I believe the only ones left are Sekiro and Demon Souls. Demon Souls Remake specifically. I have not played the original and I do not have access to said original. So, Remake is what I play for Demon Souls. Need to go back there. Good. Okay. Yeah, so the Remake is what I play for Demon Souls. So, those are the final two I've left to play. But, like I said, also need to play Lies of P, Spider Man 2, and Armored Core. I believe that is everything I need to play on the channel. I currently don't have any of the three games. But that should be fine. I can get them in the future. And I do want to apologise for how long it's taken me to get to them. How long it's taken me to get through this as well as Diablo 4. Diablo 4 is less Let's my go. style than this is. This is far more something I'm interested in. Just because I love story games. And Diablo is more of a hack and slash loot grinder kind of thing. We have to grind for the best loot. And you have to like go over enemies and stuff I like that. Granted, there is a good story, which is why I'm still playing it. But still, it's kind of not entirely my vibe. Specifically for the channel. Either way, I hope this was a good video, essentially. I want I wanted this to be, like I said, a reintroduction. I hope it got across what I wanted it to, in that it showed what I want this to become and who I want to become for this. Like I said before, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. If you simply want to talk, feel free to say. And if you're having a bad day, you can leave a comment. I'm happy to, like, listen, if needed, if you want, if that wouldn't make you feel better. Supporting people is... Oh, it's such it's such a good feeling. Either way, I will leave things there. If you enjoyed, like, share, subscribe, comment, 
all the good stuff. Hope you have a good day, and I'll see you all later. Goodbye.